Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to size objects using scaling. So if you want to basically change the size of an object, this is the video for you. So let's switch over to the code. You can put this wherever you want. I'm going to put it inside of essentially this little anime game loop just because you could do some sort of animation with it where it's scaling it constantly in one direction or making big or small, something like that. But again, you can put it wherever you want. So var, first of all, what you want to do is create, you know, a few variables, s, x, and this is going to be how much you want to scale in the x axis. You want to put 1.0, which just means don't scale it at all. Anything below one, you're making it smaller. So 0 0.5, you make it half the size and like two will be twice the size i think you get it it's pretty simple to be fair sy i'm going to make this equal to 1.5 so we're going to be scaling it in the y axis and we're going to have one for the z as well and i'm going to set this to 1.0 next what we need to do is create a matrix i'm going to call this form matrix and this matrix is going to be used in the vertex shader for the multiple for the calculation of the size so this is going to be a new float32 array. And in here, you just put fx, 0, 0, 0.0, 0, 0, 0, and 0, 0. If we duplicate this line, so we have four of them. And here, we're going to put 0 0.0 they're going to replace the second one with s y next one with s z and this one is going to be one so this is the type of matrix that you will need for scaling there are different types of matrices you can use ones for rotation you know all simple stuff and you'll be using matrix multiplication so you know row times height feel free to go and check out more complex matrixes matrices and how to actually do matrix multiplication and calculations i recommend khan academy they got loads of videos covering cool stuff on there so feel free to check that out okay so next what we need to do is actually create the scale matrix which is what we'll be passing in to our shader so scale matrix equals gl dot get uniform location First of all, we specify the shader program that we've already created. You can use this with any bit of code. I'm using it with the rotating cube. And this is scale matrix. This is a variable that the matrix, I mean, no, the vertex shader will be expecting, which we'll be implementing in a second. So next we put gl.uniform matrix for SSV, so for float values. And we put scale matrix and false and we specify the matrix which is form a matrix okay so we pass in this into this okay so now what we want to do is actually go up to our vertex shader there's a little quick thing we got to do here uh, first of all we need to specify the uniform which we're accepting in which is map 4 and then we're going to put scale matrix semicolon comma again you could be using the other method where you don't use dot join and you could have a plus whatever system works fine and finally all you need to do is multiply this by the scale matrix and that's it so if i reload as you can see it's resized it's kind of hard to see exactly what's happened so let me slow the cube down a bit when i say slow i'm literally going to stop it so make this all zero Okay, so it scaled it in the y axis, the x and the z axis, so z axis is in and out. It's hard to see that, you know, in this angle, but you know, just bear with me. The y axis has got bigger by 1.5. If, for example, I did like 0 0.1, this should be a tenth of the original size. I think, see, it is really thin now, and I can make this twice the width as well if I wanted. And you can do the same with the z axis so that's it that's literally all you need to know in terms of scaling an object and also known as sizing an object you can do some models 2d objects 3d objects literally anything 
if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message also one thing i want to mention obviously if you've got multiple objects they will have most likely their own shader program assigned to them it may not be a separate you know set of vertex and fragment code but you'll probably have you know a different shader instance and you, you just create you know multiple you know matrices multiple of these if you have different scale factors specify the variable and then specify the appropriate shader program and you'll automatically do the rest so that's it if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video